What did you guys? Yeah, I mean, you know, previous to that, the at bat against Soraka, um, just a great battle. Um, and it's it's just impressive. You get into, you know, the pitcher gets you into swing mode with a bunch of foul balls um, and just have the discipline to take. Um, that, was a, that was a huge at bat in that inning. And then obviously a big swing in the ninth. We, uh, a moment like that puts talking in the spotlight, but how valuable has he been kind of all season for you guys as you've kind of rode ups and downs in the areas? Yeah, I mean, I think the thing you know you're getting from Mike is kind of the at-bat, that quality at-bat and then stay in the strike zone. And um, and uh, he's he's been consistent with that throughout the year. Um, and he's just a tough at-bat. Um, and that's, you know, it, and it's a consistent tough at-bat. Craig, it might not have necessarily been the way you draw these two games up, but how important is it to get you know two wins like this, especially with the late rallies and stuff too? Yeah, I mean we, you, you don't draw. There's no drawing up anything here. You just try to win the game and and then do it as it presents itself. Um, you know we battled. There's there were several good plays on our end. I thought just you know say be not the infield single, um, belly with the O2 sack fly, um, morale drawn the walk. Just, just a number of things that uh, you know contributed to the win today. So we had to battle offensively for sure. Um, the guys did a nice job, and, and the bullpen did a nice job. To box, is there anything to just like creating pressure for pitchers in the situation to you know help advance runners? Yeah, I mean, I think you know, hopefully, honestly, that's a little bit of just the whole atmosphere and um, everything like that. And you know, they made a couple couple mistakes there. Open uh, one inning. Just one run, one run in four innings, kind of the unsung hero of the night. Yeah, I, I think so. It always kind of goes unnoticed when you have a big comeback, but but you get that comeback because uh, you get some good efforts for sure, um, and, and get the guys did a nice job. You know, you cover four innings and give up one run. That's that's given us the offense a chance to uh, do what they did tonight. How's Morel doing? Um, we called the tow truck. Didn't get there in time. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad dad joke. Um, <laughs> all you can think of that one for. <laughs> no, he, he's just a. He's. We've seen him follow a number of balls off that uh, that foot, and you know, he gave it about three or four days rest. But but he got himself pretty good that one. No X-rays or anything. Not not. No, I think it'll be okay. On the bullpen, like how how are you thinking through whether you let lighter go further or turn it over to the next? Yeah, we're just kind of looking at who's up in the lineup, and I thought we still had pitching kind of behind us, so we just um, behind Hector. Um, so we're just trying to match it up the best we can. And, uh, what was uh, the explanation you were given for Nico's ejection? Seemed like a pretty quick one. Just what, what was the explanation for you? Yeah, I mean, it's it, it's just a. Uh, it's arguing balls and strikes. Simple as that. I'm sorry if you asked this, but Mike talked into eleven pitch at bat that kind of keep that inning and the ball game. How impressive was that for him to there fouling off a bunch of those pitches? Yeah, I mean it was it, it was a big spot in the game for sure. Um, and I thought it was just a, a, at a bat where Mike stayed within himself um, as he as he does so well. It's it's one of the things that makes him a tough, consistent hitter is that he always kind of stays within his strengths. Um, and he kept doing it. You know, he, he you know, you're, you're, he sees the ball really well. And so he, he was getting maybe just barely beat on those fastballs, but enough to kind of get rid of them and get on to the next pitch. Um, and that's, that's what he's really good at. When you score enough runs and you win a game, is it uh, interesting to you that you know, get asked those nitpicky questions about uh, why didn't he do this? Why did he do that? Uh, because it seems like those things are center when you lose and uh, washed away when you win. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the nature. That's what makes baseball great um, is that there, there's so many moments in the game. And we, um, you know, we try to win it. You try to win every size, trying to win every single moment. But but it's it's a back and forth during the game. Um, and so, you know, you, you almost never play the perfect game and, and the other side gets you somewhere. Um, but, but in the end tonight, we just thought our, like offensively, uh, just a really solid kind of effort as to like, just keep going and, and do the little things a little bit and then wait. And then we got a big thing at the end. 
Um, and then on the pitching side, just kind of being down, but still kind of getting through innings, completing outs, and giving the offense a chance. We've talked a lot about catcher production and Jan Gomes, specifically the walk that he drew that ended yeah. point around. I mean, that, that's, you know, that kind of set up Mike's at bad, and that's first and second, and, and now we're talking, you know, that's the pressure we're talking about. It's, it's a big pressure moment. Um, and, um, you know, Jan had to follow off some pitches and battle through a 3-2 count and, and did a nice job. Oh, sorry, I think two nights in a row now, Ian Happ coming through with timely RBI hits. Yeah, you I got Ian there, yeah. It was just a veteran hitter to weather kind of going through some struggles before, and then now we're seeing, you know, the, the hitting inside over the last week or so. Absolutely. I mean, I think that's what, you know, I think we have a lot of guys in that spot, and then you have faith in them and to to uh, produce. They're, they're going to go, we're going to go through stretches in the season where, um, they're going to have downturns, and Ian's too good of a hitter, and has done this. You know, is in, in a good spot in his career um, that you just you feel that it's coming, and you know that it's coming. Um, and, and he's had a good ten days or two weeks here. Thank you.